Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. To discuss a question we get from time to time, does omeprazole cause memory loss or dementia? Does the popular PPI or proton pump inhibitor affect any memory or cognitive abilities? First off, what is omeprazole? It's, a, as I said, a PPI or proton pump inhibitor. It's used for stomach issues or to treat ulcers so the ulcers can heal. It's used for uh, infection known as H. pylori uh, in combination with a couple antibiotics to heal the bacterial overgrowth in the stomach that can lead to stomach issues. It can be used for GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, erosive esophagitis. Now I'm going to go over a couple studies that look at this and I will have the links in the video description. The first study I want to look at is from Frontiers in Neurology from Novotny, Kilmova, and Vallis. Um, the purpose was to review whether the proton pump inhibitors, which omeprazole is one of them, have any relationship to both the onset of dementia and depression in the population that uses them. So they look through, this is a literature review, so we do, this can't prove that this causes it, it can just prove an association. Um, and because PPIs have long been considered a safe drug for both short as well as long-term use. In recent years, however, we have had some questions. We're wondering, as we always should in science, we should question the existing belief and make sure it still holds up to um, the literature. And they, on their research of the literature, they did find an association between the onset of dementia and depression. Now, there could be other factors that they overlooked, but this is certainly worth um, considering that they have found the association. So here's their conclusion. They did find a direct association between the dementia and long-term use of PPIs. They, it's not clear why, they don't know why. Um, it may be related to vitamin deficiency. We do know that the affecting the stomach acid changes how the body absorbs certain vitamins. So that would be something to consider if you need to be on long-term PPIs, possibly vitamin supplementation would be useful. Um, also, we just need to look at the risk benefit, determine if you do need to continue taking this. Often people just need a short six to eight week therapy of omeprazole, taper off of it and because it, you know, long enough for an ulcer to heal or something else like that. Um, but it certainly questions whether we want to keep people on it long term. Next study is from the Journal of Alzheimer's Research and Therapy. This one, uh, frankly, surprised me. Um, our study published right here by these uh, folks. What they did is they they decided to study this because they know that the vitamin deficiency occurs with this and that PPIs have become increasingly popular, but they wanted to look at the cognitive impacts. Does it affect memory? Um, does it affect any brain functions? So what they did is they took 60 volunteers. So this is just a small study um, just to give us an indication of the effect of the PPIs. So they took different PPIs and they had a control group and they tested their cognitive function and then they tested them again seven days after. They found uh, significant, uh, statistically and clinically significant impairment in visual memory, attention, and executive function in only seven days. Now this surprised me. It's a small study, so we can't be certain, but that, that really, I found that to be really interesting. All PPIs have a similar negative impact on cognition. So they did, uh, they looked through different ones and among them, esomeprazole, which is generic for Nexium, showed it had the least impact on cognitive function, but still had some effect. So this is really interesting. It needs to be part of the consideration when you determine whether long-term PPI therapy is appropriate for you. Um, since we're seeing an association of cognitive decline when you're on these medicines, further studies should be done 
for a longer period of time, just as they said here. This was a small study, so we can't be certain, but I, I would think that should definitely be taken into consideration. You could talk to your doctor. I appreciate you watching. Um, remember, do not stop your PPI without talking to your doctor. They can be difficult to stop. You can actually get some hyperacidity and often will need to be tapered. You need to work with your doctor. Also, like I said, PPIs can protect from certain kinds of cancer. So the risk benefit needs to be determined. But these studies do question whether long-term therapy is appropriate for many people. Uh, hopefully it'll, you can start a conversation with your doctor and they can help determine whether it's appropriate for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate this information and please subscribe to my channel.